How can you generate that effortless whip action and racket flip on your forehand just like Rafael Nadal? What's the secret to generating that massive power and spin? And lastly, how can you use all of that in your next match to dominate those weaker shots and those weaker players? In today's video, we're going to be breaking down Rafael Nadal's forehand where you're going to learn exactly how to generate the racket flip, massive power and spin, and put away those short balls. So let's jump right in to the racket flip. So the secret to generating Nadal's massive racket flip and creating that whip action on your forehand can first be understood by breaking down Nadal's technique. So you'll see that the first phase that Nadal executes is what's called the unit turn. And you'll see that there's a few key checkpoints that you can implement the next time you step on the court. Checkpoint number one is you wanna rotate with your entire body as a unit and start releasing when the choke of your racket is about eye level. From there, we're gonna go into the backswing where you'll notice that when Nadal executes his backswing, he's gonna fluidly drop his arm down and stretch his non-dominant arm away from his body. By achieving these two key checkpoints, it's gonna allow you to fluidly drop uh, and accelerate your arm traveling forward, creating that flip. Which then brings us to the acceleration where you'll notice that when Nadal accelerates, he's gonna do something that's very different than what most other players do, which is gonna allow him to generate such a deeper racket flip. And that is, notice how when he accelerates, his arm is actually still gonna be slightly bent. And what's gonna happen is he's gonna fluidly straighten and accelerate his arm all together. Now, this brings us to the true secret of how to generate that massive racket flip on your forehand. I've boiled it down into a mathematical framework that says flip equals force times friction. So essentially what this means is that if your wrist has a lot of tension, which in this case is friction, then what happens is when you accelerate, because the wrist is tight, it's not going to be able to generate that fluid flip. So the first checkpoint is, can you have a relaxed wrist? And I'm confident that you can have that relaxed wrist. That's a yes. Having a relaxed wrist is very easy. And a specific drill that you can use is actually gripping the racket with your index and your middle finger just like that. And focus on just doing a few shadows, keeping it very loose. You can even have your friend feed you and just focus on keeping that wrist very relaxed. Now that brings us into the second part of the framework, which is force. So the racket flip is actually generated from two sources of motion. Force is generated from what we can call independent forces and then dependent forces. So independent forces is the constituent element of Nadal's acceleration that really differentiates them from these other players. What you'll notice is when he accelerates, he's actually gonna create force in an independent fashion. His arm is gonna be straightening down and back, and that's gonna create even more racket head speed and inertia to create a deeper flip. So in order to get intuitive feel for this, here's a specific step-by-step -step checkpoint you can follow. What you can do is you can start with your arm lined up with approximately your right hip, your left arm across your body, and focus when you get fed balls, straighten your arm back and accelerate going forward. And what you'll find is that that's gonna generate so much fluid racket head speed as you accelerate. One more. So arm's gonna straighten and then accelerate out. Now the second force is what's known as dependent effects of the acceleration, which what you'll find with all top players, if we look at Nadal, Alcaraz, or Federer, you'll see that what creates their racket flip is what's known as the adduction and flexion of the arm. That's basically just the arm going up and away just like that. Those two motions combined with the independent force of going back is what's gonna generate that massive flip. So here's a step-by-step -step drill that you can follow to get all of that. So let's have Chloe go ahead and crush some shots. From this position, when you're getting fed, have the hitting partner focus on starting with their arms slightly bent. Perfect. And then the left arm will be across your body and you'll be in a semi-open stance just like that. That's perfect. So from there, she's so gonna drive her leg, rotate and pull. So good, look at that flip. Perfect starting checkpoint, loose. Great flip, way to accelerate. Use that leg drive, peck and shoulder. That's amazing. Great, Chloe, that's so good. Yes, great weight transfer too, that's insane. Good, leg drive, flip, so good. Here we go, last one, that's awesome. Great flip, wow, that was unbelievable. Awesome job. All right, so as you guys can see, the key checkpoint to focus on is when you're accelerating, 
Focus on having the arm drop, leg drive, pull up and away, and all that right there is gonna create that massive racket flip. So now you have an intuitive understanding of how to do that. Let's now jump in to how you can create massive power and spin with that Rafa forehand. If you want access to a step-by-step -step system that will permanently improve your muscle memory, there's a free video you can click in the link below. Click on it before it expires. All right, world-class athlete. So now you intuitively understand and I'll have a drill to create that massive flip. Let's now jump into how you can generate massive power and spin. Now, a common misconception is that there's a trade-off. In other words, the more power that you want to generate, it means that the less spin that you'll have. And what a lot of players think is that in order to generate more spin, what they'll think to do is rather than accelerate out, they'll focus on just accelerating very vertically. Now, it's true that this can allow you to generate a lot of spin, but what if there was a way that, just like Nadal, you could generate both massive power and massive spin on your forehand, just like that, where you're hitting with a lot of dominance, but it's also very safe. Now, this has everything to do with the way that Nadal accelerates and then the way that he follows through. So if we go ahead and assess Nadal from a side angle, you'll see that when Nadal makes contact on his forehand, he's actually going to significantly extend his arm forward and through the ball at contact. Now, the reason why this follow through alone is what enables you to generate so much force and spin is because of the physics of the way that the racket strings work. Now, what creates massive power and spin is the more of that linear force that you're able to generate, what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna bite the ball more. It's gonna create more of that force of the ball, which is gonna bend the strings in. By having those strings bent in, it's gonna allow the strings to therefore grip the ball and enact more rotational speed on it. So essentially applying all this together from the same checkpoint and drill that you just mastered, what you wanna focus on doing is starting in that same checkpoint we just talked about, but now with your acceleration, really emphasize the arm pulling forward and out. There, I just gotta close my racket a little bit more. Ugh, pulling forward and out. And here the key is you wanna go really fluid and you wanna have a lot of confidence and power going forward. So let's have Chloe demonstrate a few. So here the number one key checkpoint that you wanna focus on is with your finish, perfect. So you had your prep dialed in perfectly, and then with your acceleration, you're gonna focus on right at contact, really focus on accelerating the arm through and across, finishing just like that. And what you're gonna find is it's gonna feel very effortless, you're gonna to get tons of spin. All right, let's go, light it up. Here we go, hit out. So good, love the leg, ready, go out. So good, way to accelerate, extend all the way through. So great, I love that, Chloe. Yes, that's so good, beautiful, great job. All right, world-class athlete. So now that you guys understand exactly how to create the flip and exactly how to generate that massive spin, let's close with how do you apply all that to dominate those high balls and those weaker players the next time you step out on the court. So well, that was ferocious. Let's go, last one. Yes, oh dude, you got this, that's so good. Let's go. All right, world-class athlete. So in this final section, I'm gonna provide you with a drill that you can use with your favorite hitting partner the next time you step on the court. So putting everything together, of focusing on achieving the backswing checkpoint, focusing on extending that whole arm and trunk forward, the last thing that you wanna focus on is with your body, you wanna get set into a semi-open stance and focus on when you accelerate, you're gonna shift your weight forward and also, if the ball is high, would you want to have your trunk stable or would you want to do something different? Exactly. You want to laterally tilt to raise that contact with giving you massive power and spin. So what you're going to focus on here is you can start off just very smooth. And what Chloe's going to do is she's going to fluidly focus on just feeling that body with perfect form, extending the arm through. Very, very easy. Whoa. All right, that was easy. So she's got great form. All right, let's go up to 100%. That's great. So good. Wide stance, shifting that weight forward. Great, that's so good. Good legs, and then shifting. That's great, good. Set up, drive it forward. Yes, that's so awesome. Then quickly recover back, get a good workout. This is actually Nadal's, he said this is his favorite drill as a junior. Good legs, closing the point, hitting out. That's so good, good. Wide stance, work it. Great, way to use the legs, right there. Way forward. So good, let's recover, recover, recover. Here we go. Ready, five more, come on. Ready, let's go, lock and load. Good legs, wide stance. Yes, way to get that flip. Big leg drive, good, last one, drive it, come on. Yes, great legs, good miss. Let's go, recover. Number one thing here, guys, when you practice, it's not about mistakes or making it in, it's about growth and improvement. Here we go, ready, set up, drive it. 
So good, start from the legs, use the whole body. Good, last one, match point, confidence. Here we go. Great space, way to go, Chloe. That's awesome. So I'm gonna execute one set, so you can feed me now. So one last thing to focus on is when you accelerate, focus on having your, your weight transfer go from that right leg to that left leg. And also, if you love these drills and want access to over 15 follow along drills, as well as more advanced step-by-step -step instruction, I'm encouraging you to click the link in the description right now where you can watch a free video that's gonna teach you exactly how to put all of this into your unconscious muscle memory. So click the link in the description right now before that video goes away. And you're gonna learn all about that. So the key checkpoint here, I'm gonna focus really using my legs, really extending forward with my prep, shifting my weight, ugh, hitting out with my body. So going all out, getting that trunk forward. Here we go, last one. Visualizing the doll, hitting out, one more. Gotta get that weight forward in that last one. Every time you make a mistake, just focus uh, on what did I do wrong? What did I do right? How can I do better? If you adopt that mindset, there's no limit of the potential that you can achieve. If you wanna master the pro drop position and gain massive power in your serve, click there. If you wanna master the Alcaraz forehand, click there. I'm encouraging you again, click that link in the description right now before that video goes away. I'll see you on the next video. Let's go.